Hi everyone, it's Ray Banda. Today, I have a short tutorial for you on how to create this scribbled effect on this text, the clouds, and also this shiny sun. There are some different steps to take for each case, but most of them are pretty similar. Anyways, let's start. Cool, we are inside of After Effects and we have our background, some cloud shape layers, same here, just with another color, the sun that it's separated into parts, the back and the front, and also this text right here. So let's start with the text. For this, we are going to create a mask from the text we can see it has created all these shapes that are masks. There we are. And we are just going to add the scribble effect. Pretty straightforward. Just change the scribble to all masks. The field type, you can see for the R. These spots that should be empty are filled. But we can fix that just by changing the field type to left edge. See? That's cool. Here we can change the color to red or whatever we want. Let's go back to this orange right here. We have opacity, an angle. It is good to change the angle if you have so much elements like I do here. Let's just stay with 60. A stroke width. Let's keep it at 3. And the stroke options. Here we can change the curviness of the of these strokes. These scribble strokes. I like it to have it at 25. The curviness to 25 too. We can also change the spacing of this scribble, but 5 is okay for me. We also have other options that you can tweak and see how they work. You can also animate the start just like some trim paths from 0 to 100 if you like that. And we have the wiggle type. And since this is a scribble text, we want it to be jumpy and a little choppy. For that, we change it to jumpy and the wiggle second to 12 since our pre-comp is in 24 frame rate. This will make the jumps to be every two frames. And let's play. And we can see we already have an easy animation. We can also change the composite if we want to rebuild original image. It will keep the edges pretty sharp. But it will disable this color option. And if you like these sharp edges, you can just add a fill effect and select the color you want. but I like to have it with the edges of the scribble so it looks more natural. Next, for the shape layers, we will just use the same effect. The only thing that changes is how we create the masks from the shape layers. For example, let's pick these clouds right here and we cannot create the masks like we did with the text layer. What we have to do is go to layer and go to auto trace. Here we just select work area and leave these options like they are. Press OK. It takes some time because it creates keyframes like we can see, but we don't need them so let's erase them. And if you want a quick access to these keyframes just double tap U and they will show. And now all you have to do is to copy and paste the scribble effect you have to the other mask layers you have created. 
and change the field type to inside. You can also play with these settings, center edge, you have a stroke, a scribble stroke with outside edge, right edge, left edge, but let's just select inside. So we already have it. Next step would be to just repeat the same process on all of our other shape layers. And of course, change the colors too. For the sun back, let's change that field type to outside stroke. That looks nicer. Now we can also change the angle so everything doesn't look too symmetrical. Since it's at scribble and it would look nicer if it is a little messy. And we're done. An easy but really cool looking effect. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post short tutorials. And until the next time.